Hi, I'm Matt Sagatini. Alongside me today, Tony Gallardo at Chaminade. We're going to talk about the the outerwear here. So, Tony, how do you how do you feel about the outerwear at Chaminade? I feel like it's a little too strict, and I feel like they should. You know, I know I understand why they have those sweatshirts. It's illegal. It makes us Chaminade students look a little sloppy, and I get that. But the pullovers of Nike and Under Armour should be legal because it's the most common. Most common place to find these kind of things in the spirit store. How do you feel the prices are in there? A little too high, to be honest. Seven dollars for a sweatshirt is unreasonable, and I can just get one at a Marshalls or Dick for thirty, forty bucks. I see. And going off that, what do you feel is the most most common uh, piece of illegal outerwear that you see? Well, as I said before, it's probably the Nike or Under Armour pullovers that aren't Chaminade that uh, I see people wearing. If you were in charge of of the uh, outerwear rules, what would you change? Well, I'd definitely. Uh, I'd still keep sweatshirts legal because they do make us look a little sloppy. So I would legalize the pullover of Nike and Under Armour because it's the most common and people like it. And finally, what is your what is your favorite piece of illegal outerwear that you like to wear? Whatever keeps me warm, any sweatshirt. Basically, it's most most of the illegal stuff. It's my favorite. Well, there you have it. Hopefully, this information can. Better help students at Chaminade define what is legal and not legal at Chaminade. Thank you.